Hey everyone, Catherine King here, and today we're gonna go through what I've been warming. Today is the, no, the 10th of June. So this is everything from June 1st through today. Um, so we're gonna start off with a candle. So um, it's a Homeworks candle and one of these smaller ones, and this is very trifle. So unfortunately now, whenever I do that, all I smell is soot, you know, because, um, I have been extinguishing it by putting the lid on it. I cannot find my candle snuffer anywhere to save my life. So um, unfortunately, all I can smell now is that, but even when I'm burning it, um, I mean, it's burning clean. Um, I like the, you know, the white jar and all that kind of stuff, but I had this sitting right next to me and I cannot smell it. So. Um, it says F22, so I'm assuming that this was poured in 2022. Um, I, I'm just struggling smelling my homeworks. And if that's how it kind of is, please let me know. I am brand spanking new to homeworks. Um, I had only placed the one order, thought I would give it a go. Uh, so far, um, I'm not impressed, so um, we, we shall see. I warmed, um, and they're in, in my other room, but um, Country Candle, which is a Kringle, um, on the peach one, and Tim was not impressed with that one. I, I don't know if it's just the current environment, but excuse me, I'm unable to to smell any of the candles I'm burning. And usually I have no problem smelling candles when I, I burn them. So I'm getting a little bit on the frustrated side. Um, I have purchased Homeworks now, Kringle, so Kringle and Country. Um, I still have my Bath and Body Works and I'm not getting any from SAS. And I got some Goose Creek. So I'm trying four different you know, candle companies, seeing which one I like the best. Obviously the two that are, you know, the best bang for the buck, <laughs> you know, I guess you could say are price wise is Goose Creek and the Bath and Body Works. Um, and actually someone I just saw posted the other day that they saw Goose Creek in Walmart. So craziness there. I don't ever go into Walmart. Um, I don't have one local, so I'd have to, to drive a touch in order to go into one. Um, and I just personally don't like Walmarts. So anyway, so candle wise, that's what I've been getting through. If you guys have hints, um, you know, I know Melanie always talks about, oh, you know, putting them in a hurricane and, and that kind of thing. So I have cats who, if they are on this couch here and they want to go on the other couch, which is in front of the curtains, they walk across the table. So if I have a, a candle in a hurricane, they're going to knock it over. Um, my, my, she doesn't have a tail. So um, it's not like I have to worry about a tail, but I, I don't have enough real estate to have a giant hurricane to stick a candle in it so I can smell it. So I want to be able to smell my candles without having to have any additional apparatuses, if you know, if, if you understand. I do crock some of mine. I have a crock here and in the other room. Um, so I do that. Uh, and that's purely just, um, I do it for, I crock a lot of my wax loaves, as you know, um, and then some candles. And I was crocking um, instead of burning for quite some time. And now I've started burning again. And, and I don't know. Um, re you know, reviews out, whatever, you know, however it, it, the phrase is. I just don't know if candles are my thing. Not sure. So anyway, let's get started with some wax and stuff. So um, I finished off a laundry liquid and this is cranberry and tinsel. Yeah, not the season, but it's not like it scents your clothes anyway. It washes them, but it doesn't scent them. I do really enjoy this scent. Um, I think I still have three, two or three of these left and I'll just hang on to them until, um, you know, the fall season. Right now I'm doing Fiji flower and in the, um, so all up here are my scent softs, but the scent soft I have going right now is lavender cotton and that one's almost done. So anyway, so got through that. 
Um, oh, Wallflower by George Peach. Still smells like George Peach. So this is um, what we put in the bedroom right now, actually. In the bedroom, I have watermelon lemonade, and it smells fantastic. I walk in there, I'm like, am I warming watermelon wax? Nope, it's my Wallflower. All right, let me pull some of these bags out so I can get to my Scentsy for you. All right, I finished Fuzzy Blanket. And like I said before, it is really light. It's, you know, um, it's a nice lavender, you know, kind of linen scent, but it is super, super light. I did get another one. What I want to do is just, I'm not going to get any more. I just wanted to get one more. I'm going to let it sit maybe over the winter, you know, try it again. But um, I put two cubes in, in my laundry room because that's where I like it. To me, it's a laundry room kind of scent. I mean, I guess it could be a bathroom, but I like the scent in the laundry room. I think it's a lovely scent. It's just not strong. So we'll see if it gets any stronger come winter. Uh, you guys can let me know if you guys have um, experience with Fuzzy Blanket. Is it going to get stronger? Okay. So I finished up an old happy birthday. This was my last old happy birthday I had. So, so good. So the reason... I warmed this and it is in my club. So the reason I warmed this though, was because my wax bestie loves Ruby Nectarine. So she smells nothing but beautiful, fruity kind of scent. I smell green. I smell a green note in it. So let's look here. Ruby Nectarine. Juicy Nectarine, Ruby Apple, and Pear Blossom. So the only thing I can think of is it's the Pear Blossom. I smell a green note. I smell something. I smell something in it that I cannot stand. Um, I'm probably one of the only ones alive who do not like Ruby Nectarine. So I mix it with Happy Birthday to kind of tolerate it. Sorry, Susan. Anyway, Pink Rhubarb Sugar. Love, love, love. I could sit and sniff this all day. I just wanted some bright, sweet, um, wonderful fragrance one day because most of the wax in here is vendor. Um, I've been off the last two weeks with surgery. I go back to work on Monday. And this day, I, I just wanted some nice, beautiful Scentsy. So Ruby Nectarine, or sorry, pink rhubarb sugar, not Ruby Nectarine. And then I finished in my bathroom, um, find your happy wax. This is First Kiss Fireworks. And it's really, I think it's really good. It has kind of like a musky note to it, I think. So anyway, it's it was really good. Um, I think I got it at flash sale. It was probably in, in a set or something. So finished that in there. It was lovely. It wasn't really strong, um, but I really enjoyed it. So I think, yep. Okay, so that's the end of Scentsy. I didn't get through a lot of Scentsy. Oh, got some bad news. So you know how I track everything that goes in and goes out so far? Um, January through April, I did fantastic. I sent more out than I brought in. Granted, some were testers and samples and stuff. Last month, I brought in 68 more items than I sent out. No, yeah. Overall for the year, I'm only down like 25. Really pathetic, but 68, 68, so sad. Anyway. Let's get started on some of this vendor stuff. And I'm just gonna be pulling out of here. Um, in the bedroom, I don't know if you can, if you know what this is, well, you might not know. It's old. Um, Holiday Woods. So Holiday Woods is peppermints, vanilla, and a hint of fir trees. Um, it is just divine. It is a very strong peppermint. Now I don't get the hint of the fir trees. Maybe it's in there, I don't know, but oh, it's so good. So if this comes out, this was um, 2021. 
So if she pours this again, um, maybe for the upcoming winter season, I don't know, I'll probably get more, but I do have three brand new scoops of different things like snooze button and stuff that I wanna have going in there. But this, fantastic, it's nice and strong. The peppermint is just divine, divine. Anyway, so I finished that in the bedroom. I finished Lemon Drop, Lemon Drop by the Pharmacist's Daughter. And Lemon Drop is lemon curd, lemon sugar, marshmallow fluff, and sugar waffle cone. Um, unfortunately, I think I put some in a crock and then warmed the rest throughout the house. I couldn't smell it. It is just an unfortunate thing with Pharmacist's Daughter. I really don't have any, any luck with it. So, um, just like I really love um, another vendor that I cannot think of. Anyway, their wax didn't really perform for me. Even though I really like her and everything, I'm just not gonna buy from her anymore. And that's the same with Pharmacist Daughter. I'm just not gonna buy anymore if it's not gonna perform. Um, another one that did not perform. So I, I have been trying to de-stash this and I swear nobody wants it. This is Ashes. Um, ashes. I think it's just Ashes Sense. I don't know, but. So I had six different of the, of, um, they were like the square souffle things. Um, sweet sorrow, candy cane, orange cream, uh, cupcake and sugar waffle cone. Unfortunately, none of these I could smell. So, but I'll just tell you what I got through. So I warmed that one. I warmed, this one's kind of dirty berry cookie crisp it was blackberry jam butter cookies crunch berry crisps and sugar i think you know these were not good days i'll tell you what they were very um unscented days lucy and ethel i think i did smell a touch of of this one this one was best friends i don't know if that's a scent or what but best friends cake bake berry waffle cone so that was that one um that's four. Oh, maybe i only had nope i knew i had more okay this one citrus sweets frosted lime cupcake sugar funnel cake um and the last ones i mean the bags they're all the same thing but look at this size difference in the quality of the bags are different too. Um, seven years of bad luck. This was raspberry cream, cupcake, poison pie, and sugar. So I'm glad my ashes is now out of my collection. It doesn't throw, it doesn't, it doesn't anything. It has, I mean, it has nothing. So um, since I couldn't seem to get rid of it, I warmed it and they were scent scentless days. Um, oh, I think I have two, yes. I have two of these, Key Lime Pie White Elephant Exchange. I did my favorite scents of the summer and I had this and I thought, I wanna warm that. Um, it wasn't very strong. I don't know if the White Elephant Exchange kinda dumbed down the Key Lime Pie. A little unsure about that, but I did warm through both of those. Um, I warmed through Monster Jam Zucchini Bread. I don't think I like Monster Jam. It's got to have a strawberry or something in it because I didn't like this and I love anything that is Zucchini Bread. So, didn't like that one. Um, next one, Boom Boom Salty Sea Air Copper Coconut. I think that's what's... Oh, no, this... I just pulled this out of my crock. So, this was actually pretty good. Yeah, it, um, it has just a really nice kind of body care kind of scent to it. I did enjoy that one. All right, Rose Girls, The Sweet Spot. This one was Sugar Cookie Dough, Vanilla Crunch Donuts in Cookie Land. Um, I don't remember it, so it must not have been strong. It was a, it's been a pretty scentless month, which is, or months so far. This one wasn't. This is Sassy Girl Aroma Toasted Pumpkin Cookies. I know, 
not the season, but toasted marshmallow, pumpkin pecan waffles, and sugar cookies. I had half of a loaf yet left, and I went ahead and put it in a crock, and it was just, it was delightful. Um, the pumpkin pecan waffles definitely was the star of the show in that one. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> one of my vendors that I have absolutely hands down fallen in love with is Second and Spruce. Um, so if you have Second and Spruce Handcrafted Co is what it's called. So if you haven't ordered from Second and Spruce, you're missing out. She's got some stuff coming up. She just did an RTS and a lot of the stuff sold out very quickly. She was shocked. One of the things that sold out very quickly was What the Melon Rita. And unfortunately, the beautiful April Lee missed out on this because she was um, stuck at an appointment, but I snagged three of them. And uh, Maggie Lamb missed out, so I might, um, might donate one of mine to Maggie so that she can smell it, but um, it's muddled watermelon sugar and lime margarita and it's divine. So I got, I did order three more of those. Um, it's, it's fantastic. If you can ever get your hands on that one, I highly, highly recommend it. It's fantastic. Okay. Some of these are just smaller bags. So let, oh yes, Rose Girls Sweet Lemon Confection. Anything that's lemon and Rose Girls throws like a beast. I've never had a problem with Rose Girls Lemon, no matter how old. This is over two years old, still threw like a beast. Fantastic, her lemon top notch. So let's go through some of these smaller bags I have here. Oh, I have two of these. Brown sugar, zucchini bread, sugared shortbread. This day was heaven. Absolutely heaven. Oh, it's so good. Um, this is a definite repurchase. There's something about that brown sugar in the zucchini bread. It was so good. I have one more puppy pack of it. And I'm like, I need more. I need more of that one. All right, Georgia Peach Vanilla Ice Cream. It was it was super, super light. L3, sorry, these are L3. Um, it was really light. I didn't really smell it. So um, I had two of these. I had, I asked um, Jennifer if she could try pouring one that was a lurid apothecary one. It's elderberry cornbread muffins. Um, it was her Slytherin blend. Now um, she did pour it. This was more elderberry heavy, whereas I think Lurid's was more cornbread muffin heavy. This was very good. I love elderberry. I think I like elderberry better than wildberry. Um, and elderberry is not used very often, and I think it should be used more. It's fantastic. So these were really, really good, more fruity than the cornbread. So if you don't like cornbread, maybe she'll pour it again. It was fantastic. I just wanted more cornbread, that's all. All right, two, these were clown cake, clown, cloud cakes. Um, and this is fangs, which is wild berry mousse, blueberry cereal and pie crust. Um, these were a bit on the light side when I warmed them. So a little disappointed in that. Um, I'm through pretty much all my Rose Girls. So I'm kind of moving into the L3 arena because those are my two oldest sets of wax. So I, I want to get the really old stuff out. Um, just so that I, I just, I don't want to miss out, you know, on some of the scent and some of them I, I am. So, um, after I did my video on my favorite summer scents, I was also having a hankering for some fizzy soda and who does fizzy soda the best? I think L3 does it fantastic. And this was blueberry lemonade fizzy pop. And I did alternating warmers kind of around the house with ice cold lemon lime fizzy pop. And it was a very delicious fizzy soda cleansing of the air day. It was great. Um, this one I did not like. I'm, I'm really disappointed. I got the Cafe Cubano spiced oat milk Palo Santo zucchini bread. Um, I don't remember what these are called anyway. 
um, I didn't like it. There was some kind of nut note in it I didn't care for. So I won't be getting that one again. I was, I was honestly a little disappointed in it. Um, but maybe there's other Cafe Cubano blends that I might like. Oh, this was a beautiful day. Dessa's Homespun Scents. Now, this was this last order was my very first Dessa's order, and I just couldn't wait. I had to warm something from the order, and it did throw very, very well. I did the Strawberry Zucchini Streusel, and it's Strawberry Pound Cake, Zucchini Bread, Sugar Cookie, and Cinnamon Streusel Crumble, and it was delicious. Definitely strawberry forward but it was absolutely divine. Um, so I did warm one of my Dessas. I might have to dig into some more Dessas. I'm not sure, um, cause I do like letting things, I don't wanna sit that on a cat. Um, I do like letting things cure, um, but it was, it was so good. So I might have to dig into this some more. And she does have a pre-order coming up on the 17th. So keep that in mind. Okay, and then I just did two samples and they're actually going in here right now. Peeps, Jelly Beans, Sugar Cakes, delicious. Mixed with Summer Scoops, Pineapple Waffle Cone, and Salty Sea Air, so both L3. So to me, I got through quite a bit. And I think the reason I got through so much is because I was changing my wax a couple times today. I've already changed it today. Um, I had an ashes scent in this morning, couldn't smell it. So then I put in um, peanut butter. It's a peanut butter and jelly. It's not southbound. Um, maybe it is southbound because I don't think it's Salt Mountain. So I put that in. So I, I just put that in now. So we'll see, you know, what I think of that. Um, it's a loaf. So I still have quite a bit of it left, but I'm glad that I got ashes out of my collection. I'm glad that most of my Rose Girls is now out of my collection. What's left is um, salted caramel coffee, which Tim cannot stand. Um, and then mixers like vanilla crunch donuts and other light ones that if I put them in, I'm not gonna smell them. So I wanna use them as mixers. I think I have a waffle cone in there too. So right now I'm gonna be moving into probably pulling in some other ones I like, but um, I really wanna work through some of my old L3 to get the old stuff. I, I really just need to get the old stuff out of the collection and that way I have fresher scents. That's kind of why I'm tracking the scents. I want to bring in less than what I'm sending out so I can decrease my collection. Um, I really kind of wanna get down to just a small handful of vendors I like and my Scentsy. That, that's kind of what my goal is. So each vendor I can actually knock out and off my list um, is perfect for me. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit, um, seeing kind of what I've been warming and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.